I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we will understand few business terms related to optimization questions in calculus. Marginal cost is one of the most important. So let's begin to understand what is marginal cost and then we will develop our concepts and move on to marginal revenue and marginal profit. So let us begin with C of X which is the cost function. So C of X normally will be given to you and is cost to produce X items. And if you need to find marginal cost, we'll just take derivative of this function. That is D C of X, I mean D C of X with respect to the number of items being produced or C prime of X. Now that is referred to as marginal cost, right? So normally in any equation, if you want to know the marginal cost and you are given the cost itself, then just find the derivative and replace the value of x with the number of items being produced, you will get your answer. So that's an easy way of getting the answer. But here, let us understand what does it mean. Now, when we say that the derivative of cost function with x units produced is the marginal cost, it really means what? It really means that C prime of x in the form of limits will be limit when h approaches 0 for the cost of producing, let us say, uh, nth item, right, say so x plus h items minus C of x over h. So that is the basic definition of marginal cost. Normally, whenever we are producing items, then these are discrete functions. So normally we are talking about units being produced and units will be in numbers. So what we could normally take as, we could take h as equals to 1, right? And x as a very large number, x is a large number, right? So in that case, what happens? In that case, we could write this function as limit when h approaches 1 and so it would be cost of x plus 1th item minus cost of x item divided by 1, right? So, so that is what it will become, right? So we are replacing h with 1. So basically, I mean cost of x items. So what really happens is to produce large numbers, we get an expression which is cost of x plus 1th item minus cos of x items, right? That means we, if n is the number of items we are talking about, then the cost of nth item is very close to the marginal cost. You get an idea, right? So marginal cost is very close to cost of producing next item. Let us take uh, some examples to understand. Let us say you are given a cost function where cost function is uh, let me take some random values, 10,000 plus 20x plus 0.004x squared. Let us see. This is your cost function. Then you need to find what is the marginal cost for producing, let us say, 1,000 items. Now, to produce 1,000 items, we will take derivative of this function, right, and say, derivative of constant will be 0. For 20x, it will be 20. Plus, here, we'll get 2 times 0.004x. Correct? Now, if the production level is 1000, we'll replace x with 1000 and calculate the answer. So, it is 20 plus 2 times 0 0.004 times 1000, right? So, if you calculate this, this is 20. 2 times this will be 0 0.008, 1000 will move decimal to 3 places and what you get is 28, right? Let us say this cost is in dollars. Then marginal cost at 1000 level of production, that means 1000 items are being produced, is 28, right? On the other hand, let us also calculate the cost of producing 1000 one item, right? So, so now we want to do cost of producing 1000 
first item. Do you understand? So let us see what is that cost. So that we can find by finding difference between cost of producing 1001 items minus cost of producing 1000 items, right? So that should give you the value, right? So that should be equal to, now we can substitute. So for 1001, we'll use this formula. It will be 1000 plus 20 times 1000 plus 0 0.004 times 1000 square take away for 1000 first item I mean I should have written 1001 here let me write make it one okay that that is for cost for producing 1001 items take away for 1000 items it would be 1000 plus 20 times 1000 plus 0 0.004 times 1000 square right so that is what we get so let us use calculator to find this value so this value is 1000 plus 20 times 1001 okay so we made a mistake so it is 1000 plus 20 times 1 So let us find this value using a calculator. So we get 1000 plus 20 times 1001 plus 0 0.004 times 1001 square, right? Minus 1000 minus 20 times 1000 minus 0 0.004 times 1000 square equals to. So what we get is a fraction and let us convert to decimals. So we get this value as equal to 28.004, right? So what you see is that the cost of producing 1000 first item is almost same as the marginal cost at production level of 1000. That is what is marginal cost. It is actually very close to the cost of producing next item, especially when the next item is we are producing large number of items, right? So it works fairly well if the number of items are much larger. Well, there could be examples where the marginal cost could be for a continuous function, right? Uh, for example, uh, cost of uh, producing cement or sometimes we do cost of running a vehicle, right? So those may be the examples where we may use continuous functions where the X or the cost of producing or cost of consuming could be a real number. But most of the time it will be number of items correct so keep that in mind and i hope with this you kind of understand when we say marginal cost at a level of 100 it really means cost of producing the 101st item close to that okay so with that let's move on thank you and all the best